these are the big like freaking water bottles I drink of every day. Right now I'm about to edit, work on editing one of my videos, my last video in quarantine, which this will probably be a part of but i have a lot of clips from it already so i'm gonna work on editing that then i'm probably gonna study some korean i told myself i was gonna study korean every day while i was in quarantine because i would have so much time and then because of my brain feeling like mush i haven't studied hardly at all i did study for one day with jordan there's this app called lingo deer i have a subscription to two of their apps. I'm doing that every day. So there is some some studying, but not actually my talk to me in Korean, which is the other thing that I use. If you plan on moving to Korea, start early, especially learn Hangul because it's not super hard to learn. So it's not as hard or as intimidating as you would think. So I can typically sound out Korean words on Things. I've been like trying to read signs out of my window to practice. I always get these random messages in Korean and I think they're like advertisements. But I'm like, girl, I do not know what this means. I am so sorry. Sadly, my groceries um, did not want to arrive. Um, but I will insert little clips of food that I've been eating because it's been pretty, pretty good. I also, let me show you this. The one thing that did come is my 30 pack of ramen. Yes, I said 30. Nobody needs this much ramen. I thought I ordered six. I don't know how I messed that up, but now she has ramen for life. I have eaten three of them so far, but yeah, I'm kind of sick of ramen. So <laughs> that's my one grocery that actually came. This and my giant water came today, which we're really thankful for. Maybe this needs to be my thumbnail. <laughs> oh, someone help. At least I know I won't starve. And they did send chopsticks, so I'll be good for a while. I wanted to do a little tour of my humble abode. Very small, very little short tour of where I've been staying for my quarantine period. It's all I really need. Um, so yeah, uh, come on, I'll show you a tour. So right when you walk in, I have my mask hanging on the doorknob right now because I always put one on whenever I grab the food that gets delivered to me. Um, I've been keeping all my trash here, which is, you know, kind of gross. Um, but it has to go somewhere and at the end I will put them all in the government provided bags. I do, like you can see in that bowl there, I do kind of try and scrub all the food out of it. Um, and sadly I flush a lot of the food if it's like leftover um, food that I'm not eating. But I have to have somewhere to put it so I just put it in this little entryway. Um, a lot of Korean apartments um, have this, I think most Korean apartments have this kind of entryway where um, you take off your shoes. Um, that is just drying there right now because it got all wet in my bathroom. Um, but I do have all my shoes out for no reason. I'm not going anywhere. But I was just trying to organize my suitcases and just to make more space in my suitcases. For the time being, I took out all my shoes and put them here in this little entryway. So then you walk in and up this little step and right to the left here is my bathroom. It is a wet bathroom, so it's like a step down. Um, and then the shower is there and it kind of gets everything in here wet. The drain's right there. 
Um, so they do provide you with these little shower shoes that I wear when I go in here. This is the shower. It's not connected to the sink. A lot of Korean bathrooms, it's connected to the sink. This one is not. I just have all my hair products over there. There's a little towel rack here. Um, but I don't use it much because it kind of gets wet whenever I shower. I put my towel out there and then put it kind of on the floor every time I shower. And there's a little shelf there with some of my products and then the sink. And then I have all my face products laid out here. I also keep all my little hair doodads and things on this little knob here. And then right when you walk into the main area, there's hooks here. I took out all my purses. Um, my towel goes back here and then my jackets are here. I mean, obviously I'm not leaving the house or anything. So there's not really a reason for me to have taken all this stuff out other than the fact that I was organizing my suitcases and it just made it easier to do so. This is the full kind of room area, living room, bedroom, kitchen, all in one. Like I said, very small, very quaint, but it's really all that I need right now. All right, so yeah, this is kind of the little kitchen area. There's a mini fridge, a hot plates, and the kettle. I keep water bottles back there because I've been boiling water and refilling water bottles as I need it. There's kind of my medicine cabinet right there. Um, I, like I said, I've been organizing the suitcases, so um, everything kind of came out just to make room and then I'll repack everything later. We also got a, a microwave down there. I haven't used the pot really except to make oatmeal um, so I just kind of keep all the utensils and things that delivery services bring with their stuff. I have some important documents, some pictures, and some books on this little shelf. And we did get this massive TV. There are some channels in English. I'm not a huge TV watcher though anyways so if it's on I normally just have like a Korean music show on in the background or something um, but really I haven't used it much which is a shame because it's really big I wish I could use my HDMI to hook up to it but I haven't figured out how to do that so <laughs> then down on these shelves I have snacks there's some from home there's some that teachers have dropped off for me um, in the mug is these little cookies from the cafe that I order from every time you order a latte they give you these little cookies that are kind of like lemon poppy seed um, they're super good and then down here I have a bunch of comfy clothes because that's really all I've been wearing in here so that's what I have there and then these two bags I've been putting dirty clothes in just to remember what I'll need to do laundry wise when I get out of here and that's basically it there's me um, and then Here's my window that I look out every day. Today it snowed, so rooftops are kind of covered in snow. Kind of nice to have a different <laughs> view. This is like my TV. I just stare out it all the time. I like to leave the window open for parts of the day because fresh air, even though it's cold right now because it was snowing earlier. I just like to get some fresh air in here and have some sunlight coming in. This is the bed, nothing nothing interesting there. It is bigger than I expected, honestly. And then this area is my desk. I did put up some pictures. A lot of them fell down though, obviously. There's this giant space there. Um, but pictures of my friends and family and my dog and then like some paintings that I did back home. And my hair stuff is in here because the bathroom gets all wet. So if I do makeup or my hair, I do it out here with my little mirror there that I brought from home because <laughs> I love it. It's also a speaker, so I brought it with me. I have one of my suitcases down there just to make extra space. I normally do my laptop stuff here, and then there is my language learning and journals right there. Then we've got my two massive suitcases stacked on top of each other. And finally, the main event, my 30 pack of ramen that I ordered that I thought I was ordering six of. 
Love that. Um, there is no floor heating in here, which is weird. Jordan has floor heating in her room, um, but I do have this little heater and it does a good job since it's just a small room. And then we also have an AC unit up there as well, which I haven't been using because I just open the window if I want it to cool off in here. Um, get some natural air in here. I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> it's just a really weird experience to move your entire life to a different country and then be stuck in a room for two weeks. I mean, I completely understand why they have us do it and I obviously am complying and totally okay with doing it, which is part of the job, but it is a little weird. I'm surviving, it's fine. We're over the halfway point now. Today at this point, I don't know when this video will be up, but at this point I only have I think five days left in quarantine. Surviving and thriving in quarantine. I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. Hope you liked this video. Hope you liked seeing what my quarantine life is like. I will be posting a lot more once I get out of here. I'm very excited to do something that is not travel or quarantine related. It will be more about being actually in Korea, which is super exciting. We'll see you in the next video.